Welcome back to the Awesome Possum Classroom. This is week three, lesson four of the Daily Kindergarten Phonics. Rhyme time. A rhyme is a repeated sound in two or more words, like the at sound in cat, hat, and bat. Say ran, pan. Do you hear the an sound in the words ran and pan? Ran and pan are rhyming words. Now it's time to practice. Listen as I say the two rhyming words. Repeat the words back to me. If the words rhyme, give me a thumbs up. If they do not rhyme, give me a thumbs down. Done next. Thumbs down. Shrunk junk. Thumbs up. Sonic panic. Thumbs up. Please always. Thumbs down. Relish punish. Thumbs up. Good job. Now, let's listen for the first sound in the word. Listen for the first sound in the word. Van. What do you hear at the beginning of van? Say the sound, not the letter. V. Very good. What do you hear at the beginning of hopeful? Excellent. What do you hear at the beginning of cake? K. Good job. What do you hear at the beginning of white? W. What do you hear at the beginning of tune? T. What do you hear at the beginning of Jane? J. Great job. Now, let's blend to make words. Blending to make words means we put all the word parts together to make a new and bigger word. Or bit. Orbit. Do you hear the two word parts in orbit? Or bit. Repeat after me. Or bit. Orbit. All right, I will say two syllables. Say the syllables back to me and blend them together to make a whole word. Confuse. Repeat that, please. What word does that make? Confuse. All right, repeat after me. X, it. What word does that make? Exit. Repeat after me. Reptile. What word does that make? Reptile. Repeat after me. Cave man. What word does that make? Caveman. Repeat after me. Tad pole. What word does that make? Tadpole. Good job. Now let's work on ending sounds. Listen for the last sound you hear in the word. Lid. What do you hear at the end of lid? Say the sound, not the letter. D. Very good. What sound do you hear at the end of nose? Z. Excellent. What sound do you hear at the end of mule? L. Excellent. What sound do you hear at the end of active? V. Great job. What sound do you hear at the end of tube? B. Very good. What sound do you hear at the end of Luke? K. Good job. Now we will practice segmenting. Segmenting means listening to the whole word and then breaking it down into smaller parts. Garden, 
garden. Garden has two parts. Repeat after me. Garden. Garden. Great. Let's practice. I will say one big word. Say the word back to me and then take it apart into two smaller parts. All right? Repeat after me. Purple. Break purple down into two smart two small parts. Purple. All right. Repeat after me. Dozen. Break dozen down into two smaller parts. Dozen. Repeat after me. Unit. Break unit down into two smaller parts. Unit. All right. Repeat after me. Safety. Break safety down into two smaller parts. Safety. Repeat after me. Mammal. Break mammal down into two smaller parts. Mammal. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to add a syllable to the end of a word. We can add a syllable at the end of a word to make a new word. Say small. Add er at the end. And what is the word? Smaller. Great job. Let's practice. Say dust. Add e. And what is the new word? Dusty. Say fun. Add E, and what is the word? Funny. Say jump. Add E, and what is the new word? Jumpy. Say spook. Add E, and what is the new word? Spooky. Say mud. Add E, and what is the new word? Muddy. Now let's take away a syllable from the end of the word and say what is left. Fixing. Say fixing. Without ing, what is left? Fix. Good job. Say dusty. Without E, what is left? Dust. Say funny. Without E, what is left? Fun. Say jumpy. Without E, what is left? Jump. Say spooky. Without E, what is left? Spook. Say muddy. Without E, what is left? Mud. Good job. Now we're going to change syllables in a word. Say longest. Change long to strong, and the word is strongest. Good job. Say meeting. Change meat to fish, and the word is fishing. Say fishing. Change fish to pack, and the word is packing. Say packing. Change pack to park, and the word is parking. Say parking. Change park to play, and the word is playing. 
say playing. Change play to kick, and the word is kicking. Let's learn the alphabet. We can learn letter names and letter sounds. Each letter has a name and a sound. I will ask you the letter and then the sound the letter makes. What is the letter? B, what is the sound? B, what is the letter? G, what is the sound? G, what is the letter? D, what is the sound? D, what is the letter? E, what is the sound? E. What is the letter? O. What is the sound? A. What is the letter? A. What is the sound? A. What is the letter? H. What is the sound? What is the letter? J. What is the sound? J. What is the letter? I. What is the sound? I. What is the letter? P. What is the sound? P. What is the letter? N. What is the sound? N. What is the letter? K. What is the sound? K. What is the letter? L. What is the sound? O. What is the letter? F. What is the sound? What is the letter? M. What is the sound? M. Mm. What is the letter? Q. What is the sound? Qua. What is the letter? V. What is the sound? V. What is the letter? T. What is the sound? T. What is the letter? R. What is the sound? R. What is the letter? C. What is the sound? K. What is the letter? Z. What is the sound? Z. What is the letter? U. What is the sound? A. Uh. What is the letter? S. What is the sound? S. What is the letter? X. What is the sound? X. 
What is the letter? W. What is the sound? W. What is the letter? Y. What is the sound? Y. Now it is time to do an activity with your teacher. Your teacher will say a line. You will say the line and clap the number of words in the line. Count how many words are in each line. Teachers, at this time, pause the video so that you can do this activity with your class. That's the end of our lesson. We'll see you tomorrow.